Hey guys, it's Frank from Cruising with Wheels. We're back from our NCL getaway cruise, and I've got some big pet peeves for my fellow man. That's right, guys. What's wrong with you? In this episode, a Frank pushes back. Now, when you're on a Caribbean cruise, you know that everybody's in t-shirts, tank tops, shorts, and sandals. Yep, we're headed down south. Sandals. Now, the ladies are usually good. I mean, they are prepared. They are. They've got their pedicures done. Their toenails are painted. I mean, they are ready for sandal wear. But guys, some of you, what's wrong with you? Oh my God, we have never seen such disgusting feet in our lives while we were on this cruise. I mean, I hate to talk about it, but I'm going to talk about it. I mean, this is Frank Bush's back, isn't it? Guys, come on. Why would you go on a cruise with long, jagged, dirty toenails. Ain't nobody want to see that shit. Dudes, you need to cut those nasty nails. It's disgusting. Come on. Ugh. It just offends the very delicate nature of my being. You should be as groomed as your fingernails are. And hopefully they are. I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt on that because I just couldn't take my eyes off of your dirty, disgusting feet. I just couldn't. Ugh, it was gross. Cut your fingernails. Cut your toenails. Get a pedicure. Do it yourself. And look like this. Now, my next pet peeve involves Speedos. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Those tiny, tiny, tiny little bathing suits for men. Speedos. I don't know what's speedo-y about them. I mean, they are small. Maybe it's getting in and out of them that's fast because they're so tiny. Whatever. Um, no matter how thin I was, I never wore a Speedo. I digress. Um, but if you remember from our New Year's Eve uh, resolution video, our friends Derek and Gregory at DNG Explorers, their New Year's resolution was getting into Speedo shape for their next cruise. And the next cruise is in September 2019 aboard the NCL Escape because we're going to be with them. Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing these two in their Speedos. But then you have some other people I'm not sure I want to see in Speedos like we saw when we were in Harvest K. And we saw this guy. Not so much. Now, there is a difference between worrying about how you look, because, you know, we all want to look good and feel good, and worrying about what other people think you look like. There's a difference. Now, I worry about how I look. Um, you know, you know me, I'm always worried about my weight. I'm always monitoring my weight. I have a weight that I'm comfortable with. And so, you know, I'm on my diet. Uh, and as of, you know, when this is airing, uh, I've lost about 10 pounds. And my goal was to lose 40. Yeah, it was ugly when we came back from this cruise. 
and it was getting out of control. And I didn't lose the weight I wanted to lose when we went on this getaway cruise. So I'm kind of behind the eight ball. But yeah, I worry about my weight because I have to because I'm in a wheelchair and I can't let that weight pile on and I can't, I can't just keep eating what I want to eat. Uh, so I worry about my weight. I've worried about my weight my entire life. As I used to joke and say, I've been on a diet since 1975. Literally. Um, my ideal weight now is I'm, if I can be at 200, I'm happy. But, you know, my highest weight um, was 300. That was after I got sick and woke up and was 300 pounds. My lowest weight, believe it or not, was 163. Yeah, I weighed 163. That was in 1981 when I got married. Um, yeah, I'm six foot two. Uh, and I was 163, uh, and I had a 31-inch um, uh, waist. Can you imagine? 31-inch waist, 1981. And then, you know, 2010, got sick, woke up, I had a 54-inch waist. So, you know, I'm very aware of what my weight should be. But, you know, I'm also concerned with making sure that my my fingernails are cut, my toenails are you know, manicure, pedicure, is my beard trimmed, when my hair, what hair I have left, you know, starts to grow out and you know gets all spiky and crazy. It's Kevin, I need a haircut, give me a trim, you know, whatever. Now you know me. No one leaves this house until our clothes are all ironed and pressed. Even on vacation, our clothes are ironed, gently folded, and packed. So, you know, that's how I am. That's how I grew up. That's how Mama raised me. Uh, it is what it is. And those of you who don't, well, that's your problem, not mine. I worry about me. But then we have the, do you worry about what others think? So we're going to go do a little PSA today, public service announcement, and we're going to talk about body image. Because there's a difference, as I said, between how you, you know, want to present yourself and worried about how you look, like I do, um, and how you worry about what others, because you shouldn't worry. You shouldn't worry about what other people think about you. You should just worry about what makes you feel good. And if, and if, if I was comfortable at 300 pounds, I wouldn't care, okay? But I'm not. Um, I'm comfortable around 200. I know my body. Um, so, hey, no fat shaming here, no skinny shaming here either. It's what you're comfortable with. So this guy in the Speedo, the chubby guy, God bless him. God bless him. Good for him. He weighs, you know, and he's looking like he's 300-something, uh, three, but he's in that Speedo, and I give him props because if he's comfortable with himself and he has good body image, that is all that matters because everybody should be that way. But, you know, the TVs and newspapers and magazines are constantly harping on all of us, men and women, about body image and what we should look like, and what we should be. And that's just bull crap. You're too thin. You're too fat. You don't have the right hair color. You don't have the right hairstyle. Your clothing, your shoes, your socks, your handbags, your teeth, you know, everything. Are they, are they straight? Are they white? It's, I mean, a million things. And I would love to have my teeth be straighter, but it's not meant to be. It is what it is. And there are people that have commented uh, in all the videos we've done about my teeth. All the trolls out there that have made all the nasty comments. Well, hey, it is what it is. I grew up poor. We were on welfare. And when the, the dentist said to my dad, your son needs braces, my dad said, that's tough beans. It's not going to happen. And so, yeah, I had crooked teeth. And it wasn't until I was in my 40s and divorced that when I took my eldest daughter, Catherine, to get her braces, I went and I got braces 
on my top teeth. So I had braces to straighten my top teeth, and I had veneers put on. Um, but my bottom, he said, there's nowhere to go. You know, your teeth are crooked. You're in your 40s. Your mouth has no space. There's no room to straighten the teeth. There's nowhere to go. And I said, and he went into this long scenario about cutting my plate. Pull out. I was like, I, you know, I'm not looking to work in Hollywood tomorrow. I just want, you know, basic straightening, whatever you can do. You know, cap, cap these small teeth. Do the best you can. I'm not rich. It is what it is. So, trolls, suck it. Worry about your own business. But anyways... Um, that's the pressure we're all on. And yeah, I knew that when we started Cruising with Wheels and putting videos out there, we were going to get attacked. We were going to attack that we were fat or we were ugly and we were bald and your teeth aren't straight and your teeth are crooked and you're horrible and you're this and you're too old and you're, you know, and the trolls have been full on. So, you know, again I say, trolls, suck it. But... Um, you know, people go into temporary fixes, um, like, um, you know, wigs and, and fake nails and, you know, and, uh, hair coloring and hair straightening and perms to make curly. Because, you know, the curly people want to be straight and the straight haired people want to be curly and no one's ever satisfied with how they look. Why? Because somewhere out there in TV land and magazine world of fashion, They've made you feel inadequate, and you shouldn't. Why is it everyone wants something they can't have? I don't know. But then you have the permanent fixes, which is all the plastic surgery, the obsession with plastic surgery, uh, and the facelifts, and the nose jobs, and the implants, and, oh my God, the boob implants, and the bone cheek implants, and the chin implants, and the bicep implants and it's crazy people wanting to look like barbie people wanting to look like ken dolls i mean holy moly that's a little out of control for me i'm just saying don't let the media out there dictate what you should look like and what you should be happy with accept yourself god made you that way love yourself and we'll love you back that's all I'm saying. So there's a little PSA for you today. On behalf of Kevin and myself from Cruising with Wheels, I want to remind you, be a regular subscriber. I hope you are. If you're not, hit that subscribe button. And remember, we're also on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. And remember to always travel safe and cruise often.